Hello everyone! In this video, I will guide you through the module presentation on Blackboard. I hope it will help you navigate the menus easier, get quicker access to the information you need in order to have a good start into the semester. About the module. Philosophy and other subjects, also known as morality and medicine, will guide you through a series of ethical questions triggered by the use of novel biotechnologies, such as cloning, assisted reproduction techniques, genetic engineering and screening, and so on. We will rely on many case studies to find out how and when general ethical theories might help us, individuals, as well as governments, to do the right thing. For many of you, this will be your first experience with an online course, and that's why you might get into this part excited and part scared. I guess this is the new normal. Are online courses easier than face-to-face -face courses? I don't really think so. You'll find that, as an online learner, you will be in charge for establishing and keeping some sort of regular study program. And that is not easy. However, I will be there to guide you along the way. If you have any questions at any point, just get in touch. I set up very flexible student hours precisely because I don't want you to feel that you are supposed to figure this out all by yourself. Now, about what to find where on Blackboard. I won't repeat in this video all the information I already uploaded on the Blackboard page of the module, as the first week of the semester is all about you reading the bits of information in the different sections by clicking the tabs on the left side of your screen. Under Module Information, you will find details about the syllabus. What are our learning goals? A week-by-week -week summary of the topics. Then, you'll find information about student hours. This is quite important because this is the way you can get in touch with me outside lecture times and seminars. At the beginning of the semester, I will kindly ask each one of you to make a short appointment with me via Calendly using the link provided on Blackboard. This will give us the chance to meet one-to-one -one in person, albeit virtually, and I will get to listen to some of the worries or hopes you have had in enrolling in this module, be they very general or specific. Throughout the semester, I offer three types of contact student hours. There can be short meetings, longer meetings, and group feedback meetings. Read about it all on the module information student hours. Then you'll find out a description of the online lectures format and a description of the online seminars format. Please read this carefully. We'll revise them together during our first lecture and seminar. Finally, I provided some general guidelines for this class. Like with the previous information, I'm open to kind of revise it and change it to make it more inclusive for everyone involved in this class. Now, another important section is the section assessment briefs. Under assessment briefs, you will find two types of documents. The assessment brief gives you a description of the formative and summative assessments I propose for this module. You'll also be able to check the rubrics that I use in guiding my evaluation and grading of your work. I also provide an assessment brief motivation, where I justify choosing the type of group work assignment that I propose for this module. I have a series of pedagogical and human goals in proposing this module. Read them, and again, we'll have the chance to discuss them in our seminar meetings. You'll also find a checklist of the sort of things you must do on a weekly basis to successfully complete this module. The Learning Materials tab has again a week-by-week -week schedule of the things we'll be doing together during this semester. Some of the pre-recordings, handouts and seminar worksheets are already uploaded and they can give you a more detailed preview of what is going on each week during the semester. If you're really curious, you can kind of scroll down and find, find out the topics we'll be covering and the sort of materials you will have to consult in this module. But I will use the announcements channel to keep you updated of what materials you need to consult and when. This will be like your annoying weekly course alarm. Going off during the week, 
reminding you to prepare in advance for your lecture and seminar meetings. A general note about the so-called asynchronous material. These are the handouts, the pre-recorded videos and audios that I will upload in advance every week. As I explain in my syllabus, I try to keep the videos short and offer more of them when the material gets really difficult. The videos are the, like the side dish for the Sway handout, or the other way around, as you prefer. They should be consulted together. The handouts contain many reflection and review questions. We will cover some of this in our synchronous lectures, but I strongly encourage you to have a go consulting them and answering them, making notes. You might be surprised how much more you learn when you engage with the material by yourselves. Finally, I decided that in this video, I won't go into details about the assignments themselves. I ask you to read very carefully the assignment brief, to jot down your questions about the type of assignments and the way I'm going to evaluate it. I will answer these questions during the first weeks, and then I will incorporate your feedback about how we can make this group assignment work best for all of us. That being said, I hope you will enjoy participating and learning together in this online module. Thank you.